Hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet, the people that come to this channel, 3D Machines to rock out for a little bit of your time of the day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today, today yes, I'm growing out, uh, never grew out my facial hair before, just kind of feeling like doing it, see what the heck happens. It's not the most beautiful thing right now, it might not ever, but you know, it's something I want to try. So, hey, if you want to try something, I, I suggest that you do things you want to do. Anyways, check out the Jeep. Got the tub on the Jeep. Got the turbo on the Jeep, got a whole bunch of parts on the Jeep, got some gloves on the Jeep. But yeah, we manhandled the tub on. Chris, uh, his buddy Casey, uh, his dad Alan, and I, four guys, picked the tub up over the engine bay, over the engine, threw the tub on, and now it's on. So that's awesome. As you guys know, I'm replacing like every single thing on this thing. So I have a new slave cylinder, I believe, in the box. It could be a catalytic converter. We'll find out together. Let's go outside and check it out. Yeah, Jason was supposed to come out today, but as you can see, there's a lot of snow on the ground here. We're in like a weather sketchiness thing. They tell you not to go on the roads or whatever, but uh, we don't really care because we got good tires. We're in the Duramax. Oh yeah, go back to the past. It looks like Santa may have come a little early. What do we got here? What the heck? Oh, some, some new rubber. We'll have to go visit Chris and see if he can put those on the Duramax. So yes, Santa came early and they're keeping me on the road. So thank you very much, Max. Also on the way up, I saw a cop and somebody went in the ditch. Aw, oh, dang, no, I thought that was the car. Maybe there was a car in there. Yeah, somebody went, definitely went in the ditch. <laughs> Must be a witness or something, because somebody definitely went in the ditch there. Yeah, I, I wish it was a little bit more exciting too, but that's what happened. Here's our box of stuff. Let's see what's in here. The only footage I have of us throwing this tub on is on my security footage. I could record that, but you guys could imagine it just as well as that can. Yeah. Anyways, in the box, that's just that. Oh, it's a... Uh... Sweet. I've never replaced a slave cylinder and a master cylinder in a Jeep, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be too difficult. Here's the master cylinder right there. And if we come back over here, it should be up in there and it's gonna be a little tricky Ricky to get to, but we can get to that. I know the slave cylinder is really, really easy. So while I'm time-lapsing this, we may as well rock out to some, uh... Christmas music. Christmas is right around the corner. We're still running the uh, Black Friday deal thing, 3D, 3-3, 33% off. Everybody was stopping their deals on Cyber Monday. We're gonna run into like Cyber 2 Thursday. Thursday, that's, that's your last day. Slave cylinder's off, it's right, right there. Now we don't gotta fish it through anywhere. The old master cylinder here has this neutral safety sensor, if I'm not mistaken, and that's on this arm. Now this arm should pop out if I, I just can't really crack its code, so what I'll do is I'll just cut it, slide that sensor off, and then put it on our new master cylinder. You break it, you bought it. Well, I already bought it. May as well break it. I think I gotta cut it in here. I think there's there's some, you can see the shaft, the diameter is larger up here than it is right here. So I think the spring is inside there, which means I have to cut this to get the sensor off. At least, sort of thing. I'm trying to play hardball, huh? Yeah, they'll do. 
So with that installed, we now have a clutch, which means we can grind some gears, give her the corn, because yes, I do have the fuel line hooked up. It's the stainless steel one right here. It's not in its spot, it's just hanging there, but it is installed. However, we can't burn any rubber. No rubber to burn. Yes, I did end up starting this thing, and it started like this. It ran like this. However, it ran like that with the high idle because I didn't plug off all the openings on the intake manifold. I didn't clog them off with like uh, my powder coating stuff. Basically things like this or, or vacuum caps, you can use those too. So the idle is high right now, that's okay. Something we're not worried about right now. We have a lot more to do as you can see. But we do have a clutch and it does run. And the turbo's on. Maybe we're gonna have to give up our recliner soon. These things did act good for that, but I think they need to belong in the Jeep here soon. Now with this Mutt, with what it is, like we said, it's a 97 chassis with a 99 engine with a Ford rear end. So this thing is just a, a, a big Mutt, right? So, and, to, and on top of that, we're lifting this thing and making this thing tall. I built my own steering bracket down here. Grab my handy dandy light so I can show you. Right here, it's on the frame right there. And then it's got its own powder coated bracket on top of it. Well, this bracket seems to be a half inch too tall. And I guess I miscalculated. So I have three options. One being knocking that bracket down in a half inch, which wouldn't make a lot of sense. Two, take the bracket that sits on top of that bracket and shorten that down about a half an inch. Or, Jason brought up an idea last time he was out. Basically just cut a bigger hole into the tub, which you'll never see in ever. So that's what we're gonna do. To give you a better understanding, this is where the steering wheel linkage goes through. Yeah, about uh, from 10 o'clock to about midnight. That area right there I gotta notch out. I think that steering bolt I left in my pocket the other night and I took it home, so I can't hook up the steering linkage. So I'm not going to be able to accomplish that. If we got the slave cylinder in, got this thing moving forward tonight. Uh, I want to put up some content tonight, this Tuesday, because I know Tuesdays can kind of drag. We'll hook the, the machine freaks up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quickie. Uh, don't forget that that sale is on until Thursday. I want to upload in the next couple days too when Jason comes out tomorrow. So we're going to try to put out some content for you guys. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Hope you guys had an awesome Thanksgiving. I did, I had a lot of turkey. It was wonderful, it was, it was amazing. My taste buds were in heaven. Stay fly, see ya.